airstrikes today on the city of Rafah in the southern Gaza Strip have left more than 100 Palestinians dead, including children and babies. The attacks came hours after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said he had asked the military to plan for the evacuation of hundreds of thousands of people ahead of a ground invasion. Netanyahu did not provide a timeline, but the announcement set off panic. Israel says Rafah, which borders Egypt, is the last remaining stronghold in Gaza for the Hamas militant group. A lethal attack in Rafah. Dozens are dead, including more than a dozen children, and Israeli forces say they've killed three Hamas members in the strikes, two of them senior military operatives. People in the southern Gaza city, Rafah, say they are in a state of panic after the Israeli military warned a ground invasion is coming to destroy the last remaining Hamas militants. Where are we going to go? To Egypt? Only God knows if they will welcome us or not. If we go to Gaza City or Khan Yunis or Al Nusrayat, we are not going to find the supplies that were provided for us here in Rafa. We keep hearing that in Gaza City they can't find clean water and that they are eating grass. They drink from the sea. God help them. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says he's ordered the military to evacuate more than 1.3 million civilians from Rafa ahead of the invasion. Food is now scarce. People are now sleeping amongst destruction and the dead. I'm staying in the cemetery. My tent is over there. There's four meters between my tent and the grave, so I'm basically sleeping next to the dead. I swear it feels like hell. I feel all the pain. We're not living. The dead are better than us. Rafa, which borders Egypt, has become home to tens of thousands of displaced Palestinians who have nowhere else to go. With the area becoming so overcrowded with people, leaving them no choice but to live in tents with little to no resources. In the last three months, the city has produced the equivalent of a year's worth of garbage. According, that's according to what municipal authorities are telling us. Ocha says the scarcity of food, clean water, health services and sanitation facilities have led to an outbreak of preventable diseases. Humanitarian aid groups warn evacuating already displaced Palestinians in Rafah would have catastrophic consequences. Unfortunately, if the situation becomes more dangerous, if, if the conduct of hostilities expands into the Rafah government aid, this will only shrink the already limited humanitarian space to achieve the bare minimum of humanitarian response. Steffi Sandoval, Scripps News. The U.S. is warning of disaster and humanitarian aid groups are warning of a bloodbath as Israel prepares for a full-scale ground offensive in Gaza's southernmost city. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu ordered his military forces to submit an evacuation plan for Rafah. Nearly a million and a half Palestinians sought refuge there since the war broke out in October. But Netanyahu says it's also the last remaining stronghold for Hamas. Deborah Pata is in Jerusalem. Good morning. Palestinians who fled to Rafah are bracing themselves for an Israeli military advance. National Security spokesman John Kirby has said this would be a disaster for those seeking refuge there and not something the U.S. would support. It's been 126 days of war, one of the deadliest in modern history. Almost 28,000 dead, according to the Hamas-run health ministry. Nearly half of them are children. Utter misery everywhere you look. Prompting President Biden's strongest rebuke of Israel yet, calling its conduct in Gaza over the top. A lot of innocent people who are in trouble and dying, and it's got to stop. But Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu stubbornly refuses to listen, instead ordering his military to evacuate civilians in Rafah ahead of a massive push there. Rafa is where 1.3 million Gazans are sheltering. More than half of all Palestinians in the enclave crammed against the Egyptian border as it slides towards famine. If they move into Rafa, there will be genocide, Adel al Hajj said. Already trauma knows no bounds. This man rushes to get medical help 
for a child that is already dead. There have been more airstrikes in Rafa, slicing through neighborhoods, shredding lives, leaving almost nothing behind. Nearly two-thirds of all buildings in Gaza have been damaged or destroyed. Most people here no longer have a home to return to. Where do they run to now? We are sick of war, says this little one. We want to decorate the sky and go back to our beautiful lives. Our team in Gaza tells us that the Israeli military has given people several options. Move to an already overcrowded part of Rafah, go to Khan Yunus, which is still being bombed, or return to the north, which has been all but obliterated. Michelle? Deborah Pata in Jerusalem, thank you.